five years ago, financial regulators thought that everything was okay. The crisis of 1929 was over, and people believed that this was not going to happen anymore. But in 2008, Lehman Brothers went bankrupt, and this triggered a series of financial crises that spanned the whole world market. What was wrong with the predictions? The fact that the financial systems form a giant network. The Fock project started one year ago to use this idea in order to assess the systemic risk in financial institutions and to help prevent future crises. There's been a lot of integration of the global economy in terms of financial flows and banking flows. First you had the fall of the Berlin Wall, then you had the opening of China, and of course you had this massive movement to deregulate the economy. Today it's much easier for a company to invest in a country uh, far away global financial markets, they've become electronic, you can instantaneously trade across the globe. With this interconnectedness, we, we have many channels of what we would call contagion, both good and bad. I mean, good things spread very fast, but bad things spread very fast as well. November 4, 2006, a small power cable went out of order in Germany. This triggered a blackout that went as far away as Portugal. Accidents happen every day, but seldom we notice them. Every now and then, one single event can trigger a large blackout. The same holds in financial systems. They resist many little uh, failures, but every now and then there is one single event that brings all the system down. Why is it so? Because power grids and financial systems are both complex networks. Virtually any economic system can be modeled as a network. Um, there are companies that are connected because of ownership ties. Companies can be connected by alliances. Um, and they can also be connected by the fact that a company is lending money to another company. The production of uh, real goods is a network in the sense that you have uh, flows of components, for example, and finished goods flowing either to other companies or to the final consumers. Ecosystems are strong and weak at the same time. According to some estimates, one species out of one million gets extinct every year without affecting the ecosystems. But when key species are affected, this may collapse down the whole structure. Possibly, this mechanism was at the basis of the massive extinctions that happened millions of years ago, sweeping away 90% of living species on Earth. The same holds for financial systems. They may look robust, but suddenly they may display unexpected Achilles heel. Usually economies don't like to uh, dirty their hands with the data. So we are actually collecting the data and try to build the models based on data and not about the stylist assumptions about how economy works. We are in uh, discussions with several reserve banks um, in Europe and, in, uh, and overseas, and we're collecting data from them, which deals with the uh, interrelationships between the banks in those countries. We also have data from uh, the electronic interbank market in Europe. We also have query log data from Yahoo, uh, Twitter data as well. So we're looking to see how uh, queries in Yahoo and tweets on Twitter affect things. Um, and then finally, we also have a lot of interest rate data. So data on interest rates in, in credit markets around the world. The hurt is shaking and trembling all the time. However, most of the earthquakes are so light that you can't even notice them. But when the big one strikes, the damage is enormous. Can we ever predict when and where a network will strike? Probably not. What we can certainly do is to assess the stability of the buildings to reduce the damage. 
and the same can be done for financial markets. It will be very difficult to predict where and when the next crisis will strike, but we can assess the stability of the financial institution and try to reduce the damage. We were analyzing the structure of the, of the networks which we found in data. We showed that for certain types of structures we can expect more severe uh, avalanches of bankruptcies and for some types of structures they are going to be less severe. The main advance has been a way to um, identify highly connected subsets of, of agents within a network. And the main goal of this activity is to um, identify those parts of the network which are more likely to be subject to shocks. In analyzing the financial data, say from 2004 onwards, uh, we have found, some of my colleagues at City University have found some uh, what we call structural breaks, which suggest that uh, markets were anticipating a crisis. So one thing that we did was to look at um, search engines. If you look at um, queries that are being issued today, you can actually make some small predictions about how the stock market is going to behave tomorrow. In the 14th century, Black Death took three years to sweep Europe. At the beginning of last century, flu killed 3% of the world population in just one year. In 2009, few weeks were enough to propagate the swine flu across the world. As we get more and more connected, diseases travel faster. We set up a series of countermeasures for that. Early warning network and stock of vaccination but nothing similar is available for financial markets, where crisis propagates like epidemics. We are setting up a system to detect early warning of a crisis and to assess the stability of financial institutions to reduce the risks of the next financial crisis. FOC has an ambitious aim, which is to provide a platform, at least a proof of concept, um, for policymakers. This would work as a sort of a cockpit where, uh, from which you can monitor systemic risks. So if you fly, you would like to know uh, the height and the speed of the, of the plane, of course. And similarly, for a policymaker, it's important to know um, the fragility of the, of the financial institutions, how much they are connected, and um, uh, what is the risk that there is a systemic default. Blackouts affect power grids, extinctions destroy ecosystems. Epidemics spread out in transport networks to social systems. All these phenomena display some similarities with financial markets. They all happen on networks. Exploring these nets and using this knowledge to prevent future crises is the commitment of the Forecasting Financial Crisis Project.